The woman you're about to meet lost nearly everything, her home, her parents' home, and nearly a million dollars in Las Vegas and Atlantic City. But now the twist. She's suing those same casinos for $20 million, saying they should have told her her luck had run out. Deborah Roberts has the story. Aurelia Tavares once had the career of her dreams as a successful lawyer earning hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. I had many friends and it was a nice, a nice existence. To blow off steam, she enjoyed fun-filled gambling weekends in Atlantic City. But over time, those weekends became weeks and the days stretched into long nights. I realized it was an addiction the last, towards the la latter days when I was losing all that money and breaking out into sweats in the middle of the night. During one five-day gambling jaunt, she says she lived on nothing but orange juice and Snickers offered by the casino staff. I was sitting there for days at a time. I mean, I used to use wipes to brush my teeth. Two and a half years later, she hit bottom, gambling away nearly a million dollars, losing her home and her job. She even stole money from the escrow accounts of her clients. For in your mind, when you're a compulsive gambler, you don't think it's stealing. I knew I had a problem. I just didn't know what to do about it at that point. Now she's suing six casinos in Atlantic City and one in Las Vegas for $20 million, claiming they had a duty to notice her compulsive gambling and cut her off. The casinos deny any wrongdoing, saying Aurelia brought the problems on herself. I think that the, where, where the casino's responsibility begins and ends is, is an open question. We would say that there's got to be shared responsibility. Of course, the gambler has to take responsibility for their own actions. You know, they have to take responsibility for the fact if they have an uncontrollable urge to gamble, they need to go get help. An estimated six to nine million Americans have a gambling problem, and Aurelia's hoping her lawsuit will help put the responsibility for the addiction on the casino owner. Casinos think that because they put a sign on the door that that's enough. It's not enough. These people have surveillance where they watch you. They are protecting themselves against you. So they, you need to protect yourself against them. Important information. It's Problem Gambling Awareness Week. In a flash, be the first to know what's coming up on Good Morning America tomorrow with the GMA Daily Flash email. All the great insider details you want to know from GMA. Go to abcnews.com, click the GMA page, and sign up for the Daily Flash. And you can even enter to win the weekly GMA Flash gift bag giveaway. Sign up now.